Pounds here having its best day in a month on news that it will become prime contractor for the U.S. Army's Titan program to build an AI-enabled vehicle. Initial contract, $178 million for the first 10 prototypes. This is a high-profile win for Palantir, which the military picked over an industry stalwart, RTX. Marks the first time a software company becomes prime contractor of a big hardware program. You can see shares end of the day up about 10%. Search, AI, and potential over the past year. Palantir Technologies has been making waves in the stock market, with its shares skyrocketing by a staggering 187.6%. This surge is fueled by the company's solid performance, including a 20% revenue growth and profitability in Q4 2023. Moreover, the excitement around Palantir's AI ventures, particularly its recent $178.4 million army contract for Titan Systems, has further boosted investor enthusiasm. But amidst all this success, can Palantir stock join the Magnificent Seven and the $1 trillion club? First, let me fill you in on Palantir Technologies' ambitious mission. Drawing inspiration from the mystical crystal ball in the Lord of the Rings, Palantir aims to be the go-to software and AI solution for the U.S. military and its allies. With the U.S. military boasting a hefty budget of $877 billion, there's no shortage of funding for innovative software providers like Palantir. In fact, Palantir raked in over $1.22 billion in government revenue in 2023 alone. Now, Palantir is stepping up its game by introducing Palantir AIP, a cutting-edge suite of AI tools. These tools leverage the latest breakthroughs in large language models to provide invaluable insights and solutions. While the intricacies of these AI tools may be complex to grasp, founder Alex Karp assures shareholders that the entire organization is laser-focused on AI development, and the results are already evident, with new products driving momentum in revenue and customer acquisitions. We've been talking for a while about how, how software is eating the world. I think this is a manifestation of just that here. We have a vehicle that you wouldn't traditionally as associate with a software company, but we are we are delivering an AI-defined vehicle that's going to provide deep sensing to enable long-range precision fires. Uh, and really, this, this vehicle was built around the soldier to enable their workflows. And it's another manifestation of how AI is changing the face of warfare. One of those new products that's been making waves is the Tactical Intelligent Target Access Node, or Titan, developed through a $178 million deal between Palantir and the U.S. Army. This partnership has grabbed the attention of investors due to its potential impact. Palantir's task involves constructing 10 Titan ground stations, which will play a crucial role in enhancing data integration and providing advanced targeting capabilities for soldiers. Colonel Chris Anderson has expressed excitement surrounding Titan's transformative potential in battlefield intelligence, highlighting its significance following a rigorous evaluation of an RTX-developed system. Bryant Chung, Palantir's Senior Vice President for Defense Solutions, emphasized the importance of soldier feedback in shaping the system's design, ensuring its effectiveness in real-world scenarios. The Army's commitment to rapid deployment is evident through regular soldier touch points and demonstrations, incorporating valuable input into the development process. Looking ahead, Palantir aims to refine its Titan prototype over the next two years, delivering all 10 systems with both advanced and basic variants tailored to the Army's needs. Shung highlighted the software-heavy design of the system, facilitating modular upgrades to adapt to evolving requirements. Additionally, the contract includes integrating new technologies, with a decision on total production expected by 2026. Palantir estimates the potential procurement of 100 to 150 systems, with subcontractors such as Northrop Grumman and Dural Industries, L3 Harris, Pacific Defense, and Sierra Nevada Corporation playing crucial roles. Notably, Andural's involvement encompasses hardware design, development, and scale manufacturing for Titan, underscoring the collaborative effort behind this groundbreaking project. Yeah, Palantir is one of these companies, you know, we were looking at Microsoft to continue the AI play, but we wanted something cheaper for our investors. So we're accumulating Palantir on a very limited basis right now. We're looking at the stock to make easily 18 to 20 percent. Mm. And that's being super conservative right wow. now uh, because it's in a sector of growth. This is a hot sector right now. But for how long? We think it's a long term play. We now, this caused quite a stir in the financial world. Palantir stock has surpassed the expectations of many analysts, prompting Mizuho to up its target to $21 from $18. However, with Palantir currently trading at around $27 per share, there's a hefty dose of enthusiasm already baked into its stock price. This has raised concerns among some bears regarding the company's valuation, a recurring issue particularly concerning profitability. 
Despite these concerns, shorting Palantir stock has proven to be risky for bears as the company has seen a recent streak of positive profitability and significant growth. The surge in Palantir stock is primarily driven by small investors rather than seasoned professionals. Despite warnings from analysts and comparisons to meme stocks, optimism surrounding Palantir remains high. The Titan contract has further fueled this optimism, sparking hopes for additional gains, especially given Palantir's favorable price-to-sales ratio compared to other major AI players. Additionally, Palantir's AI technology is gaining significance amid global tensions, with CEO Alex Karp not shying away from addressing its role in potential wartime scenarios. But before we move on, we just want to thank you for watching this far. But can Palantir truly live up to the hype and become the next big player in the tech world? While Palantir's lucrative contracts with the U.S. government are impressive, its commercial segment is also rapidly expanding. In 2023, Palantir's U.S. commercial revenue soared to $457 million, marking a remarkable tenfold increase from $47 million in 2019. With expectations for the segment to reach $640 million in revenue in 2024, it's clear that Palantir's commercial endeavors are gaining significant traction. Major enterprises like Merck and Morgan Stanley are among Palantir's notable clients, reflecting the company's appeal across various industries. However, despite its promising growth trajectory, the notion of Palantir reaching a trillion-dollar market cap seems overly optimistic. Compared to tech giants like Microsoft, Alphabet, and Apple, Palantir's revenue of $2.2 billion pales in comparison. Even if Palantir's revenue were to increase tenfold, it would still only represent a fraction of the sales generated by these industry giants. Given the current numbers and market dynamics, it's evident that Palantir is not yet ready to join the trillion-dollar market cap club. While its stock has seen an impressive 300% surge since the beginning of 2023, investors should temper their expectations and focus on whether Palantir can deliver solid returns in the long run. With a market cap of $55 billion and minimal profits, Palantir's growth expectations are undeniably high. However, only time will tell if the company can surpass these lofty expectations. However, if you're keeping an eye on Palantir's competitors, three companies stand out as formidable challengers in the AI space. First up is Microsoft, which has been leading the AI race with its substantial investment in OpenAI and the integration of ChatGPT into its Azure Cloud platform. Microsoft's AI tool, Fabric, aims to streamline business data integration and decision-making processes, boasting significant traction among global enterprises. Another noteworthy contender is Databricks, a high-flying startup valued at $43 billion. Databricks' focus on real-time data analytics and machine learning threatens Palantir's dominance, particularly in AI applications. While not publicly traded, Databricks has garnered attention for its impressive customer base and solutions spanning various industries. Lastly, Amazon's AWS Cloud Computing Division presents a tangential yet formidable competitor to Palantir. With products like Amazon Neptune, an AI-powered graph database, AWS offers a comprehensive suite of data analytics tools that can rival Palantir's offerings. Additionally, Amazon's investment in Anthropic signals its commitment to strengthening its position in the AI market, posing a potential challenge to Palantir's future growth prospects. As these companies continue to innovate and expand their AI capabilities, the competition in the AI landscape will only intensify. Now, don't forget to pay attention to Palantir's adaptation of AI systems for enterprise applications, as this has been a major driver of its recent growth. In the fourth quarter alone, this focus led to a substantial 70% increase in U.S. commercial revenue and a remarkable 107% surge in total contract value. Despite its impressive gains, some may find Palantir's stock price steep, especially considering its 215% rise over the past year. However, when considering its forward price slash earnings to growth ratio, Palantir may actually be undervalued. So, do you think Palantir could eventually join the elite Magnificent 7 and reach a market cap of $1 trillion? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's it. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons down below. Additionally, if you want to know about Kathy Wood's thoughts on Palantir, just click this video right here. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future.